Hey everyone, Vincenzo Calla here, and welcome to episode 38 of Top 10. Today, I'm glad to be joined by the Member of Parliament for Nepean, Chandra Arya. Thanks, Chandra, for joining me today. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Let's get right into these fun and simple questions. So first off, I want to ask, what's your favorite color? See, the problem is that I usually don't have one favorite thing, <laughs> but if I have to choose one, probably I'll choose white. Because on it, we can paint any other color. True, true. Very, very true. Question two, what's your favorite book? Uh, this book is called The Prize. Is the uh, history of oil from 1850s uh, till 1990. In fact, uh, this was uh, published before you were born. Uh, it is uh, a history of oil by Daniel Ergin. In fact, uh, if you read that book, you can also see the history of the entire 20th century, how oil was the key thing in many wars, in forming of the states, how the powers uh, dealt with it and how it influenced the geopolitical events. Question three now is, what is your favorite movie? Again, uh, my age shows here, uh, the movie, I should say, was... The one that I watched most uh, is a movie called Fugitive. I think uh, that was in 1990s. Again, much before you were born. Uh, Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones uh, movie. I have not watched it during the last uh, seven, eight years, but I have watched this movie many times. Along that now, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite TV show? Again, is a, a very old one, probably 80s uh, uh, TV show, uh, is a British TV show, uh, Yes Minister. It's a show that I haven't watched yet, but I've heard so much from so many of my guests who have oh, joined me. Oh my in. God, you so should So I'm going to have to watch it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to watch it. I have that and I have the West Wing on my watch list that I just, I don't know, university, I've started I'm this year and I've had no West time. <laughs> I have not watched West Wing. I have not watched Game of Thrones. No, I haven't watched them, but... Uh, Yes, Minister. I mean, it's been quite some time since I rewatched. Uh, people say it's on YouTube. Probably I'll go back and watch once, you know, once again. Well, I'll have to watch it again once university slows down for the summer for me. Yeah. So question five now is, what is your favorite meal? Uh, you know, personally, I come from India, South India. My favorite uh, food, I can say, is that uh, a South Indian pancake with uh, a potato... Uh, what you call uh, gravy uh, and uh, a coconut chutney. Uh, it's a very typical, very South Indian uh, breakfast, I should say, but uh, I don't care. I use it for dinner if available. That's also good for me. So pairing with that now, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite type of dessert? Uh, dessert I'm avoiding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, once again, uh, uh, but I used to like, it was, uh, an, again, an Indian dessert called uh, Gulab Jambu. And yeah. question seven now, what's your favorite hobby? Uh, you'll be disappointed to know that I don't have any hobby. Though I do read. Uh, that reading is more of a necessity than hobby. I used to read a lot of books, uh, uh, you know, when I was, since I was young. Uh, but uh, these days I read a lot of newspapers, about five newspapers and a lot of reports. Uh, so it is no more a hobby, it's a necessity. <laughs> well, I've heard that from a lot of guests on the show. I think uh, things are really busy, especially now that Parliament's back and sitting. You're very busy and don't have a lot of time for hobbies, but that's okay. Yeah. Question eight now, what is a vacation that you've always wanted to take? I guess one thing I can honestly say is that the vacation... I wanted to take, have not been able to, is to go to a place which doesn't have internet. That I can really have a real vacation. Just live off the grid and just yeah. get away from parliament and life in Barhaven in Ottawa and just sort of take a bit of time to to relax and yep. shut out the outside world. It has world not happened. It. Not yet. No. Question nine, what's something that you've always wanted to do? I always wanted to do PhD. I don't know, you know, I've done my engineering, I've done my MBA, but uh, since my student days, I always wanted to do PhD on a particular subject or topic, uh, go in depth into that, uh, but it has never happened. 
probably it will not happen. <laughs> well, question 10 finally now is one that I always like to ask and end on. And I wanted to ask you, what's a piece of life advice that you would like to share? Uh, one piece I usually tell uh, young youngsters is the youth is that uh, uh, there's no alternative to hard work. And uh, you have to take calculated risk. You can't play safe. You can't say that I can do without hard work. It's not going to happen in life. Uh, it, so hard work and uh, taking calculated risk, uh, they are, in my view, they're the most. That is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks a lot for having me. It was a pleasure. Well, it was so great having you. And if you liked this interview, make sure to go check out my other interview with today's guests here on YouTube for Let's Discuss Politics. To stay updated, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at VC Productions 25. Check out my website, VincenzoCala.com, and make sure to like, subscribe, and choose to get notifications here on YouTube. Top 10 is a VCala production. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing out.